Peggy 7. Rigs is a game about sport, albeit sport 50 years in the future. Uh, so it's important that the design of the rigs captured that uh, sporting vibe. These machines are designed to be fast and athletic, so we felt as though we needed to represent that in their, their shape. It was really important that we distinguished uh, the rigs as high-end sporting vehicles rather than lumbering war machines. We started to get a bead on some of the things we felt we could push and differentiate within our rig designs. We could use colour, so we could actually inject a sense of sporting livery into the rigs. That, coupled with exposing the pilot, were kind of some of the first things we decided to explore in our designs. We wanted to make sure there wasn't any extraneous stuff on the rigs that were very streamlined making all the edges feel like they flowed and had a, a purpose and actually that they were kind of really sleek and sexy. As soon as we added in sponsor logos, it just brought everything to life and it gave it that sense of uh, tangibility, it made it feel like it was a, uh, a real sporting livery. We knew we wanted the different rig classes uh, and so there was lots of iteration with design, there was ideas about, well, this class of rig might work this way, this one might work this way. There's a small uh, and robust hunt class that can move very quickly across the ground. Tempest class that can launch up into the air. We have a Mirage class that's taller and more athletic and capable of double jumps. And we have a Sentinel class which is big and heavy and robust and can do massive boosted jumps into the air and, and slam down with uh, great impact. When we started looking at Location for our arenas, we knew we wanted to have some diversity. We wanted rigs to look like it was a global sport. Started with Rio to begin with. It piqued our interest in terms of it being kind of up and coming. So it actually felt appropriate for it to maybe, you know, in the future have a big rigs arena. Dubai is you know, very um, calm and white, there's kind of sand and blue skies, and it, it pushed the aesthetic much more into. Um, kind of architecture you see by now. It's Nevada, one of our uh, environment artists actually suggested as though kind of Lake Mead had dried out, um, but then adding a rigs arena was something that was really interesting to us. Uh, and then the fourth arena that we've just done is set in Macau. Half of it is outside this large casino and then the other half is inside and you can kind of look up and see this big spectacle of the place. VR, I think it's important that you have something that you recognise and then actually if you have that grounding, that foundation, anything you build on top of that is kind of greater because of that. The first time that all those, uh, those came together in one piece, so the lightweight materials, the, the blade legs, the sporting liveries, the sponsorship decals and logos, just come together really well. When we got a Mirage in the pits working in VR to like a, a decent graphical standard for the first time and people kind of put the kit on and then it was you know, towering six metres above them. And that was like, we've got something cool here. For the players.